Today I'm going to show you how I clean this trigger fish. See? See this? You cannot bend this back down. It's top fin. But if you hit this fin here, it all folds down easy. That's the trigger part of the trigger fish. Here's the knife. Cut that off right there. Kind of cut that back there like that. Same here. You can run my knife along that. Cut them fins off. I like to take and cut these off as well. Get that off of there. So you have top fin off, bottom fin off, trigger still up there. And you take along the side of the trigger here, take and run your knife. And you outline the edge of this fi fish the rest of the way here, around that trigger. It's real bony right there. Just like that. Do the same on the other side. They got really, really tough scales. Kind of like a gar pike, actually. Like that. Another thing you can do, my dad taught me this just the other day. Take this and run that along the front of that. Just like that. Take that off, up the belly here. Do the same thing, kind of outline that. I wonder if that'll work too in the belly. Anyways, kind of works. Maybe split it like this. That don't work for you. Still got this by the tail here. Take that. Ran that up along here. Just like that. Along both sides of the tail. And run that on the back there. Take this part right here. Get it started and go like this. Get to that point. Sometimes you can just go ahead and grab the rest of it this way. Just peel that skin right off. Kind of like a mahi. And you have this right here. Pull that off too. Do the same thing on the other side. So then I take this part. It's like a whole nother bone right here. Kind of gets in the way. Just kind of pull it, twist it, and it dislocates. It's pretty much all bone there. A little, little bit of meat on it. You have the innards. Just reach in. Still a swim bladder in here and some kidneys. I kind of popped the kidneys. They're stuck back up in the kind of in the ribs in the backbone area. Kind of just poke them with your finger and they'll 
basically come out of there. And you rinse them with the hose when you're done. Wash them out. Of course, this one's fighting me a little bit here. That swim bladder's not want to come out like it normally does. Here we go. It's got to get a better grip on it. It's pretty much cleaned out inside. If you want, you can take and the gill doesn't open up all the way like a normal fish. That little hole right there is where the water comes out of the gills. You can just take and separate that right there. Sometimes you can get it from one side. You don't have to do both sides. Just get one side started. Reach in both sides of the gills and pull it. Get rid of it. Scrape the kidneys a little more. Chickens, man, they love this stuff. Here. Fight over it. The gills are out of it. But basically, rinse that off and you throw that whole thing on the grill. Maybe pull this little section out if you want. But there's a ton of, of meat right here. That's why you keep them whole. There's meat right here. A lot of meat in these cheeks right here. And this is tons of awesome meat right here. One of the best tasting fish that I've ever eaten. Take the hose and rinse them out on the inside get all that stuff out of there get a lot more meat off these if you keep them whole like this so so that's how i clean a trigger fish if you like this video at any point give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already